yes. I was just looking at these civil cases. Yes. There's two types of cases in the courts, either civil or criminal. Yeah. Now, civil cases are usually disputes between private persons. That would be uh, like uh, a dissolution of marriage. Yes. Uh, probates, guardianships. Mm -hmm. They're based on the preponderance of evidence. The party suing the plaintiff, oh, it's a lawsuit, <laughs> must prove his or her case by presenting evidence that is more persuading to the trier of fact. <laughs> Uh, judge or jury than the opposing evidence. Oh, <laughs> now let's see. You don't give me notice of court hearings as the opposing evidence, and you're the trier of fact. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now the party that's suing me, known as the plaintiff. Who? <laughs> I thought they were petitioners, but I could be wrong. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now uh, these dissolutions of marriage. Uh, what happens when you don't act? Actually require notice of the actual dissolution of marriage hearings. <laughs> you have settlement conference setting hearings where I didn't get any notice of it. Yes. <laughs> By the preponderance of the evidence, when you don't give me mm -hmm, the respondent <laughs> actual notice of court hearings, how can the trier of fact, that fact and finding of law, yes. <laughs> How do you make a decision to award uh, permanent custody of my five sons? Yes. And then you decided that you would award the amount of the monthly uh, child support? Yes. <laughs> Without any other evidence? Yes. Now, I would think that there would be the requirement of law that you can never have a court hearing. Yes. <laughs> that involves the permanent custody of children. <laughs> without making absolutely sure that you could prove that the respondent or could be the defendant, it is a lawsuit, yes it is, <laughs> had actual notice of court hearings so that they could present to the court the evidence of what their actual income is, yes, <laughs> the actual debt of the marriage, yes, a marriage certificate from the United Nations, yes. <laughs> And then, well, you decided to issue a dissolution of marriage where there was no execution of it. I'm still married to the woman. Now, how many spouses, they did serve their husband, but they never served them a dissolution of marriage. And they thought it was so funny sitting there after five fucking years holding it in their hands saying, well, you have to come after me to get it. But you kept issuing protection orders so I couldn't speak to her. <laughs> you thought it was so fucking funny serving me in the public library because of the two private parties known as the petitioner and the respondent. Yes. And you gave all that information to some jerk-off that thought he was just humorous. Oh, I mean, laughing his fucking ass and taught him a lesson. But the problem is, if you keep issuing the fucking protection order, I can never talk to the woman!